We often tell people to eat more fiber for their microbiome and this advice is still valid. But a fascinating study from Stanford compared two simple diet changes, a high fiber plan versus a high fermented food plan. And they tracked it, what shifted in the gut microbiome and the immune system over the 10 weeks. Researchers have randomized healthy adults into these two diets. They logged every meal, collected stool samples, blood samples, and followed as well a structured four weeks ramp up and a six weeks maintenance period. Fiber did improve some microbial functions, especially on the carbohydrate metabolism side, but overall diversity didn't reliably rise across participants. So attention turned actually into the fermented food group. They started small under one serving a day and worked up to around six daily servings. That included yogurt, kefir, fermented cottage cheese, kimchi, sauerkraut, kombucha, vegetable brines. Then they eased up into a personal maintenance rhythm as well. The gradual schedule looked like this. Week one to two, one to two servings a day, maybe yogurt at breakfast and a spoonful of kimchi at lunch. Week three to six, three to six servings daily, rotating types as well and keeping added sugar minimal. Maintenance was one to three servings a day with as much variety as possible because diversity matters as much as quantity. By week 10, participants in the fermented food group showed much higher microbial alpha diversity and reduced 19 inflammatory markers, including interleukin-6. That is a strong signal that small, consistent, fermented food can modulate the immune system and calm systemic inflammation within weeks. So while fiber remains obviously essential, it's the living foods, those rich in microbial communities, that may nurture our own microbiome towards more resilience. I've created a free fermented food guide to help you all here to get started. It includes practical example servings, ideas, and even clinician grade probiotics strains for those who can't consume fermented food regularly. Type fermented food here in the comment and get this guide sent to you straight away. Also read the full blog if you are interested to go deeper.